because of course the day and age, I, I try to live in through my children, and not try to live through them, but understand the world and see it through their eyes, so I have a better understanding of what's going on and where we're headed. But it's still weird to me, because even my children, my my teenage children, even my adult children who are, are twenty one and eighteen, will still say Mister and Mrs. to people to this day. You know, they like my. So I, I find it weird that a fourteen year old girl will call someone Maya. On a TV show, I mean, maybe it's, that's the racism coming out too, because she was a black girl. I was like, she should have known better. Right. <laughs> maybe she's that... been hit with an extension cord before. Oh damn! God damn! <laughs> she didn't have to go outside. She didn't have a racetrack. She didn't have a racetrack upside her head, nigga. <laughs> she had to, man. Hey, she didn't been she didn't been at the table all night because she didn't want to finish her chili. Yeah. Your ass <laughs> better not get up before you eat all that food, nigga. Right. <laughs> it's like you want to say something, ADA. What's going on? No, I'm just thinking because I feel like, and I know this was 20 years ago, but I feel like today people don't use last names or don't use what are the things called when you say Mister or Miss? The uh, pro, not, not pronouns, surnames, surnames, or... surnames or greetings or greeting names, whatever it's called. Yeah, something uh, like that. Because I even think about like I feel like the whole time I was growing up. It was always President so and so, and I don't know if maybe it's because he's black and people were trying to take away from him. But people always called him Barack. People called him Michelle Michelle. It's like it's not First Lady Michelle or Mrs. Obama. I, um, so may, and I know that even in schools nowadays, some schools are like, "Call your teacher. We're going to call teachers by their first names because everybody's equal here." And even it. I want to say, even when I went to college, some of the students there had been calling their teachers by their first names. Um, so I don't know. It's just weird. But at the same time, I have never done that. Even when I was teaching, mm-hmm. as an adult in the school, as an educator in leadership positions, I never called my principal by her first name because it just didn't feel right to me. Because um, mm-hmm. that's just the way my parents had done things and the way I had been used to it. But I think for so the people on Twitter who don't know who Maya Angelou is... I could see them not understanding that and being mad that she's telling this young lady, I'm not your peer, I'm not your friend. But I have done a lot of shit in my life. Call but she, me. But she didn't even say that. She didn't even say that. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's, that's it. But she didn't even say that, though. She was just, I think, because like, 20 years ago, she didn't even say, like, she didn't, like, say, like, the it whole... This was, like, 30 years ago. This wasn't even Yes, years I was going to... Ni- it was 1990, my bad. So, like, almost 30, you're right. Yeah, so, 30 years ago. So, like, in the video, like, she didn't even, like, go into the whole thing of I'm this, I'm that. But she was, like, saying, I'm your mother, I'm your auntie, I'm this and that. Should, I mean, she, she, was, have, should she have to? I mean, we know that no. was Maya Angelou saying it, but had any woman, had Betty Sue. <laughs> Betty Sue. Had, 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 <laughs> had, had Mabel said it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But should I, it be any different? But, you know but it, it shouldn't be any different, but I think, I think ADA is bringing up a... a a thing where it's just like the, the cultural shift that a lot of us on here won't agree with, but it's a thing that's happening. Cause, right. cause like we're not we're not raising well as far as like me and you, um, but but even like like ADA and Anthony, they have they have uh, younger members of their family. We're not influencing the members of our family that way to say to call people by their first name, but there are people out there who are like that. So. Are we just old dinosaurs? Where do we stand? You know, type of question. Well, I put, it, I put it this way. I bet you if you got a hold of that 14-year-old girl who's now 44, <laughs> right. she'd insist the same thing. Right. But, 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 but Insist to call her by her first name or insist last name or Miss Maya yeah. or something? Miss. No, Ms. Yeah, I, I've earned that, you know. Oh, Ms. for herself. Okay, I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But even in the video, though, like, in the video, though, if you've seen the video, the girl didn't even blink. She was probably like, I mean, she had to like, oh, you're right. It was the white woman. That, the white woman was more dramatic than anybody else in the video. Right. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, culture shift, all that. I like, I mean, like, in, 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 in ADA brought a very important thing. I would not be calling out doctors by their names. But there's a doctor in our facility, Anthony knows, I won't say his name, who right. was like, who's really big on like, just call me, I would we'll just say, first name. call me why? And like, in me, I'm like, I, and he corrects me. I'm like, in me, I'm still just like, okay, I won't say sir, but I'll call you doctor, just whatever. 
I'm, I'm, but I'm not gonna call you your first name. The, the the military and my father punched me in the head too many times as a marine. I'm sorry. Right. I've been bra- I was brainwashed fucking <laughs> thirty years ago, my nigga. There's nothing I can do yeah. about it. <laughs> right. And this, well, this, this, this 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 is me saying yeah to my mom. Pow! You get punched in the motherfucking head. <laughs> So, I mean, it's just the way, um, you know, we were all probably, we were all brought up, mm-hmm. you know, collectively in, in on this podcast, because we were brought up saying, no ma'am, yes ma'am, yes sir, no sir, and, you know, that was the bottom line. You didn't call your relatives by their first name. You oh, always no. put aunt or uncle mm-hmm. or Mr. Grand, grand, Mr. or Mrs. When your auntie bought that, name. when your auntie, exactly. didn't, your auntie didn't bring her husband to the cookout, but it was some weird guy. Right. Mr. Exactly. James. And his name is <laughs> Uncle Whatever. No, nah, he's called Mr. James. That's Mr. James. Or Mr. James. That's Mr. James. Mr. James. Right. Mr. James. Mr. Mr. James. Mr. James. Mr. James. Mr. But as a child, you know, as a yeah. Like, that's as not. A child growing up. That's not Uncle. That's not Uncle. Uh, that's not Uncle Joe. No. That's Mr. James. No, he's Mr. James. <laughs> Mr. Okay. James. I said, oh, okay. But why is Auntie Aretha kissing on him like Mr. James? Like Uncle Joe? <laughs> hey, boy, don't worry about it. You, you worrying about, you worrying about those issues right now, nigga. You worry about, about those issues, nigga. Hey, what they say in the military, stay in your pay grade, nigga. Right. Stay in your pay grade. I'm going to play with these toys over here. But, you know. So that's how I was growing. I mean, growing up, you know, in my in back in my days, and I grew up like in the '80s and '90s, you know, before this all happened, you know, transpired and everything. Um, but you know, that's what I was taught, you know, to respect the elders, and that's one form of respect is never to use just their first name because we're not peers; they're elders, so elders would be respected as such. But not to get too deep or go off on a tangent before we move on to our next topic, but it's weird, though, because, like, some of the same people, these young people, or I should say young people, younger people who I see saying, like, well, she was wrong for this, calling this young lady out. These are some of the same people, if you go to their Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts, who are putting their children on blast. Something that I really hate, parenting for social media, where it's like, oh, my kid didn't get all A's, so I'm going to get this nigga a fucked up haircut. And put it on social media. Oh, my kid said something to their teacher, so I'm going to put it on social media, him holding a sign on the corner. And it's like, wait a minute. At the same point in time, you trying to check Maya Angelou for, for checking this young lady for not calling her miss, missus or doctor or whatever. But right. you okay with motherfuckers doing this shit for social media. So, like, I once again, humanity has confused me, and I want to just throw the whole earth into the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fucked up. I said, I agree. I agree. Yeah, because like, like, I, uh, I, I'm not about to go through Twitter to find it because it was like uh, one father, right? Like his son, I think he got like, and, and this is like a young kid too. We're not talking about like some high schooler nigga who's just like, fuck it all. Even then, I don't think it's right. But you're talking about a kid who's in elementary school age. I get. I think this kid got like. I guess D's or whatever the fucking... I don't know what they got in elementary school now. D's, I's, B's, Z's, whatever. It's all weird now, wherever you go. But basically, he wasn't getting good grades. So instead of getting this kid a tutor or trying to figure out what's going on or showing a teaching moment, father and son, this father decided that I'm going to give my son, instead of like I used to give him the the tight shape up every two weeks, I'm going to give him the fucking... The uh, George Jefferson ball, the, the reverse fade, huh? gave him a reverse fade and put it out there for social media. And at, he sh- he got fried as he should. That that fair got fried because I'm like, if your kid doing good, yeah, you know, you won't put it on there, dude. You'll put it up there. If it's a teaching moment, okay, eh, I'm kind of iffy with that teaching moments, which are more intimate moments. I think should be kind of left off social media also, but. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure, don't be, especially with an elementary age kid, or any kid for that matter, but definitely if you're an elementary kid, putting that shit out on social media where you're showing your son and then also saying, my kid fucked up. So, first of all, I'm looking at you as a parent like, this nigga like 10 years old. So, what's going on in your, ha- your house to where your kid is not succeeding? We, we need that follow-up tweet 
uh, 10 years later when your son's a sociopath. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, when your, your son's sitting outside the house butt naked covered in fucking dog blood setting the fire, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. We need that. So, nah, I just... I, don't know. I mean... I mean, I know, I know. It's, we all, as far as the, the, the church of raising, raising young, successful individuals. I know I'm preaching to the choir as far as that goes. But, 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 a lot of like it hit me when it was like y'all the same people talking about this. Why, why this woman should be respected? Why is she calling her out? But y'all the same niggas that glorify and, and put all this shit on fucking social media, Instagram, when y'all shaming y'all fucking kids. So which one is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Build your kid up or shame your kid? Is it teach your kid respect or fuck your kid? Which one is it? Yeah. So, whatever. I don't know. I got mad for a second. I'm back. <laughs> get, get together, humans. Get together, humans. I swear to God, if I want this Powerball, nigga, I'm putting a rocket on the earth, nigga. I'm sending this motherfucker to the sun, nigga. Kiss all your loved ones goodbye. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. I think we, we adequately addressed that. Yeah. And there really is no uh segue to this. And I don't think we're gonna talk about this very much, though, but the whole yeah, uh if you haven't been in a cave, if you've been living above the earth for a little bit, you may have heard that the Mueller report finally came out. Well not came out, but he presented it to the uh there's not, there's not even an A G, is there? Cause yeah, uh, didn't old boy quit? No, they they got a, a legit one. Oh, they got a replacement. Uh, they got a replacement. My it's, bad. Uh, it's uh, I can't someone who's even like more that. in Trump's pocket. Well, no, I don't know about that. He was he, maybe so, but he was uh, he was the Attorney General for Bush. Oh, uh, William William right William P. Barr. You know what? Thank you guys. If I had just Barr. read a little bit more, I would have seen this. William P. Barr. So Mueller presented his report to to William P. Barr. And of course, uh, lines have been drawn in the sand. Uh, it's fucking. Um, uh, can I see this? Hold on, my bad. It's basically fucking Battle of the Bastards going on, uh, Game of Thrones type shit. And which is funny to me because nothing's been put out publicly. Except well, for. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Oh, no, it's coming. But I'm saying, like, everyone's, like, making all these, like, speeches as far as, like, what it is, what's going to happen, but it's like you, we basically know the same shit that we knew yesterday, right? All right. Well, no. no go no, ahead, go no. ahead, Joe. There's, there's, there's some information out there. Uh, I think I, what I did is when I saw it come out, I, I turned on CNN and I turned on Fox to see what they were saying over there. Oh, are you, are you okay? Are you okay, nigga? <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Do you need do you need ADA to squirt the lavender scented women woman essence? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some lavender. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know that we do not like the network Fox at all. So, so Continue. I, I turned I turned over to catch what Tucker Carlson had to say about it, and then that I man. went over to uh, check out what Rachel Maddow was talking about, oh. and. Yeah, and she's she's almost as bad. She's, she getting real she bad. Forever, she getting real bad. Guy. Right, right. <laughs> so anyway, um, the point I'm making is that I think there is some information that was given in the lack of information, and the big thing that came out was that there were no initial. I mean, no more additional indictments from the Mueller probe. Yeah, I got that. So th- that that's that's information. So that means that we're not going to indict uh, Don Jr. No. Nope. At least, it, I put it this way, at least not through the Mueller probe. Now, it's still, I guess, a possibility that, you know, the uh, Southern District of New York could do it or, or somewhere somewhere else. But it's not going to come from the Mueller team. And we're not going to indict uh, Jared, what's his name, the son-in-law? Kushner. Kushner. We're not going to indict Kushner. And those two were known to have been in that meeting with the Russian lawyer. Um, so, I mean, that, that's information. That lack of information provides information. So the Republicans on Fox were, were celebrating and saying, yeah, this is all for nothing. You know, uh, 
the Democrats, like on MSNBC, were kind of um, 